Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule, but this isn't really FPL. It's about the Euro fantasies. And this is the pointless video for match day three, where I show you what my plans are. And I don't know a lot about a lot of the players, so I'm just going with what's popular. But before we do that, let's see who's doing well in the Midnight Mule mini league. So in match day two, the top scorer was MOA 09 FC with 09 Lover FC with a massive 100 points. And this is how the team lined up and every player got a return, which is amazing, as in got at least five points, which is very good. I'd say four points would be good, so five points is very good. So uh, Captain Gundogan, 28 points, and then Misselstadt, 10, Castiles, 10. Then we've got Musala, 9, Fernandez 8, Akanji, 7, Face 7, Kane, 6, Lukaku, 5, Ronaldo, 5, Sutalu, 5, and then everyone on the bench got fewer than five. So that was very well done. And going here to compare my stats, I can see that in the game week we just have, they played their wild card. So they have played a chip, but still that's a brilliant score. If we look at who's top, it's Mardovic with Mardovic GM with a massive 156 points. And this is how their team lined up in the game week we've just had. It was, let's have a look, Castiles for 10, Misselstadt for 10, De Bruyne 12, Captain Ronaldo got 10, Cam Kramerick 9, Kane 6, Musala 9, Cancelo 7, Bellingham 3, and that's pretty much it. And on the bench, we had nothing, so at least with all the messing about, they didn't get unlucky with the bench. And once again, if we go here, we can see any chips were played. And active is the Limitless chip, but they are top, which is very, very good. So if you saw any of my previous videos, you'll be aware that I'm just going for popular players because I don't know enough and it doesn't seem worth doing lots of research and going for risky players. So this is my squad as it stands. I have three free transfers, two million in the bank. I'm not intending to play a chip. Rodri's got two yellows, so he's definitely out. I'm nervous about Trent getting 60 minutes, because I think Southgate has to try something different. So he's out. And then who are the popular players I don't have? Well, I've got Bellingham. I can't afford Mbappe or Kane. So Musala is the most popular player I don't have. Now, Germany are playing tonight and Germany are through, but it seems to be what I can pick up from what people are saying. They're expecting the German team to still put out a good team, in which case Musala will start. We'll find out at seven whether or not he is in the deadline to eight tonight. So I'm going to assume that he is playing, so I'm going to get him. But I've already got three German players, so I need to drop one of Havertz, Wurz or Misselstadt. Of those, the one I'm least happy with is Havertz, so he's out. So that means I can get Musala. I then need to get a defender. And if I go up here and say to the nice website, hey, who's the popular defenders? Van Dijk, I've got. Rudiger, I've already got a German defender in Mitchell Stats, so I don't need him. Got Cancelo. Frimpong, I've already got a Dutch one in Van Dijk, so I don't need him. Trent, I've just dropped, but I've got England covered with Pickford. Carvalho for Spain. It looks like the expectations are because Spain have topped their group, they could make massive rotations. There's no point in getting a Spanish player for me. Then I've got an Italian defender in DeMarco, got Mitchell Stat. Diaz, but he's Portuguese, I've already got Cancelo. So the most popular defender for a team I've not got any of, apart from Spain, would be Hernandez from France. So bang, get him. And then apart from that, I still need to find a forward. So who are the popular forwards that I wouldn't mind having? So I can't afford Mbappe or Kane, that's already done. I can't afford Ronaldo, I've got 7.5 million down here. So of the 7.5 million, there's Gakpo. I've been watching the football, I think he's all right. They've got something to play for, so bang, in goes Gakpo. So this would be my team as things line up, but I won't make the transfers yet, just in case we find out Musala's not playing, in which case I'm going to have to do something completely different. I would probably put my captaincy on Musala there rather than Verts. He's playing tonight. And that'd be it. There we go. The old captain tap for Musala. And there we have it. That's what happened in match day two and my plans for match day three depending on the lineups that we find out at seven o'clock. It's going to be a bit tricky for me because I'm actually going to be at a local hustings tonight where we get to see the candidates for the upcoming election. So I'm going to have to hope I get a good signal on my phone or else I'm going to have to leave while I sort my team out. 
So, hey, what am I going to do about it? All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.